Hi guys, Mr. John here. In this video I will make a short little teaser about this that I made. It's a little induction heated iron. Yeah. Uses the same kind of principle as those nice but expensive Metcal stations. This one is handmade. The work coil, as you can see there, consists of 70 turns of wire. 0.5 millimeter in diameter around the tip for a Heiko 900M series irons which you can find cheaply on eBay and they are available in a large variety so you can swap them very easily unlike some contraptions by that Russian blogger uh, this one has a feedback because it uses a heater from this kind of iron but not from this one but from this one uses thermistor as a element to sense the temperature what I used there is a heater that was originally installed in a handpiece that came from this stay with this station and that had a thermocouple <coughs> So that's exactly what is used here to send the temperature. Then the thermocouple is fed into this little comparator using LM2904 with a little bit of uh, feedback there to slow it down and to make it stable. So it switches on and off rather than finding some rather than flickering all over the place. Uh, it took me quite a bit of effort to find the excellent uh, combination of turns um, the war coil right now is 70 turns originally I was putting like about as much as I as it as I was able to fit on in single layer that so this one it's about 40 turns and it was great but the problem is that if I wanted to have decent power I had a low impedance load there so the circuit here had to push quite a large current to get that power and that caused the cord to heat up so much that it became squishy no good because I was dissipating a good third of power going to the tip that this power supply was producing to heat that cable no good so what I did is I went and May double pretty much double the amount of turns now that's 70 turns that's another flop that I made this one is only 20 turns complete disaster the power supply here is nothing but a ZVS yeah that's that and this particular ZVS driver you may have also seen in my another video where I showed a little soldering gun which I tore apart because uh, honestly I did not find much use for it it's not because it is um, inconvenient it is because most of the work I do I do within within an arm's reach of a receptacle pretty much always so and if you and if a receptacle is not there, I can easily take a reasonably sized um, extension cord and have the full powered mains iron, main mains powered iron there. So uh, the whole point of that little soldering gun is that it was battery powered. And it doesn't make sense to use battery where I can just plug in into outlet. So I tore it apart, I used the ZVS from it pretty boring right now the circuit is in prototyping stage so I ain't gonna show you any schematics yet I have to figure it all out power supply is this set to about 16 volts current limit right now is 9 amps something like that but the circuit consumes right now maximum from the cold start it consumes about 4 watt 4 amps which equals to about 60 watts maximum and the thing, the thing will heat up within 15 seconds hot enough it's it's hot enough to melt solder the tip is cold as you can see there no burn marks or anything 
it heats up really quick. Next I'm gonna go show you that it can solder to this. That I can successfully flow the solder on this big plane. I'm gonna turn it on. You can see the voltage. Right. And see? It's already melting. And the thing is not yet to the temperature. Taking to the temperature takes about 40 seconds, which is which is um, not amazing, but considering what I cobbled it from, it's pretty decent, I think. The full temperature right now, by the way, what? that's it. The preset is about 310, 320 degrees Celsius. So, reasonable temperature. I won't say that it is terribly high, is it? Next. Let's try to solder. Focus. Okay. The board is obviously cold. I soldered it before, as you can see, because it's not great, but anyway. Here we go, see? No problem whatsoever. The solder is properly molten. It has no problem desoldering components from your multi-layer boards, which is impressive for only 60 watts of power. But it is inductive, inductive heated, so inductively heated, so it's much better than the usual stuff. And I'm gonna go and sh also show you how well it, how easy it is to solder this tab on a, this D pack package. Let me clean the iron. Right now the tip is held in place with a little bit with a little shim that I made from a tuna can which you can see there. So yeah, it's not great in, by any means, but eh, works. It's a prototype. And you melt it. See? Remember, that's only 310 degrees Celsius. I measured the tip uh, with my multimeter using the thermocouples that came with it. And I did a fair test by doing what I mean under that, that I left it idle like that. I left it un like that, just sitting in thin air. So I gave it plenty enough time to reach the maximum temperature on idle and the real temperature is gonna be less than that especially when you touch something the open pump using has a quite large input offset voltage so right now the th hysteresis of that comparator which I did not add that hysteresis is purely due to input offset of the op amp is about 20 degrees centigrade well, I'm lying, it was 14. I measured it to be 14 degrees. So let's say it's turning off at 314 degrees and it will turn on back. It will turn off then and it will turn on back again when the temperature will drop to 300 degrees. Which is not too bad actually for this kind of thing which I just cobbled together using nothing but my brain power. I did not even look for the information on the web. I just 
looked at those awesome medical stations and I wanted to make something similar. And again, that Russian YouTuber inspired me, but yet again, <laughs> he screwed up. But <laughs> I'm gonna take... Actually, he makes videos in English as well. If you are interested in, in this kind of things, I will kind of... Well, I won't really recommend, but I will advise you to take a look. You may like it, you may not like it. I don't know. He does not speak himself. The voiceover you see there is just... Um, some... Some person he pays for, for that, so... But the problem there is if you watch his video, he used only one turn there and claimed that he made two videos about it. First it was a prototype with a thick, very thick wire on the work coil. Then he made this kind of utilize this ZVS, put a one turn in the secondary there and claimed that now you don't need thick wire in the work coil. Yes, because you, he had like about 15 turns in the work coil and one, only one turn there and powered from like 15 volts or so. The thing is that the wire, you don't have to use thick wire there purely for the reason because you're not outputting enough voltage there to consume much current to cause it to heat up. That's that. Right now the primary here is 10 turns. The secondary I mean, sorry. Secondary is 10 turns. It consumes 4 amps maximum at the moment. I can beef it up even more, but the ZVS heats up. Now it's pretty much cold. Okay, that's that. 